Hey guys, so now that I have finally finished the cruise vlog, I can tell you about some of the other trips that I've taken this year, starting with this one. And uh, this one is actually going to be split in two, kind of, because it's it took place between two different states, and um, one of them will be a Wandering Alabama video, which I will do probably later this weekend. And uh, this is the Mississippi part of the trip, though. So my mom and I took a little trip to Laurel, Mississippi in June, uh, about mid-June, for my cousin Megan's wedding. I took some pictures and everything while we were there, and I took some notes because, as you probably know, I like to make lists and stuff, and one of the lists I made while I was on this trip was a list of notes of funny things or things that I thought were funny that happened on the trip. So here we go, I'm gonna tell you guys all about it. All right, so here are my notes. The first note I have is Samsung ringtone. <laughs> so we went in my grandmother's Ford Escape and it has Bluetooth connection. The last time that my mom and I drove somewhere, I connected my phone to the Bluetooth. But uh, my mom had also connected her phone to the Bluetooth later and somehow lines got crossed. Bluetooth lines, although Bluetooth is wireless, but you know what I mean. But somehow, instead of playing music or the podcast that I was trying to play, actually, uh, it just started playing a Samsung ringtone over and over again. And first of all, you couldn't even hear it. And second of all, it was just a random Samsung ringtone. And it was really weird. That basically happened right as we left my apartment. So, you know, <laughs> we started off on a good foot. <laughs> so we drive to Laurel, Mississippi. We get to our hotel, we check in and everything, and we start unpacking some of our clothes that we were gonna be wearing for the wedding and everything. So I went into the bathroom to put my stuff in there and I looked and my mom had brought like a whole skincare line, it looked like, and I was like, uh, I brought deodorant. That's not the only thing I brought, but I mean, it was like basically the only thing that was in there that was mine was one stick of deodorant. So we started getting ready for the wedding, put on our makeup and everything, fixed our hair, and put on our wedding outfits. And um, before I could put mine on, I realized that I kind of needed to iron it. So I turned on the iron and I got the ironing board out and everything, and... I started ironing my dress, but it didn't seem to be doing anything. It didn't seem to be taking any of the wrinkles out. So I turned it up a little bit, and the next thing I know, I had burned my dress. So, yeah. You guys saw this dress. It was the one right here that I'm wearing in this video. And there we go, dress number two. See, it's got the yellow on the top, um, the flowers all down. And then the rest of it is just black. Well, after I finished ironing it, it looked like this. And since it was the only wedding appropriate outfit that I had brought with me, I was kind of stuck with that. So I had to wear that to the wedding. Luckily, the way it was situated, I could kind of keep my hands on my thighs <laughs> and cover it up the whole time. So that was fun. <laughs> But the wedding went fine. It was beautiful. My cousin was absolutely gorgeous. And uh, we had a lot of fun just kind of hanging out with a family that I don't get to see very often because it was my dad's side of the family. And I don't see my dad's side very often. And uh, guess who wasn't there? My dad. So uh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, it's not like I was surprised. The food was really good too. And they had three different kinds of cakes and I tasted all of them, because <laughs> why not? But yeah, the wedding was really nice. The next morning we had plans to go to a museum in town. Unfortunately, we had to check out of our hotel at like 10 o'clock in the morning, and the museum didn't open until like one, I think. So yeah, we didn't really have anything to do while we waited for the museum to open. So we kind of drove around where the museum was, and looked at some of the old houses that were on some of the nearby streets, which was really nice. It was really pretty. And um, we got bored of that pretty quickly though. So we found a mall and it was a Sunday. So none of the stores were open yet because the mall didn't actually open until like noon. So we just walked around an empty mall. Luckily the bathrooms were open, so we were able to go in there. And um, while we were in there, um, the toilet flushed on my mom before she wanted it to, and then it flushed when she wanted it to, and then it flushed as she was leaving the stall. So it flushed like three times, and I just hear her go, get over yourself. <laughs> it made me laugh, so I wrote that down too. 
But we walked around the mall for a while and um, they had these little kitty rides around. Um, so some of them were like race cars and there was like a Jeep and there were several different kinds of uh, cars and stuff there that kids can sit in and um, I guess like put a quarter in or whatever and they move. We got on those. But since there wasn't really anything else to do in the mall other than play on kid toys, uh, we decided to go ahead and leave. As we were leaving there, we passed by some building that I don't know exactly what it was for, but it was called Alamo something. And my mom said, there may be a basement in that one, which is a reference, of course, to Pee Wee's Big Adventure, where he goes to San Antonio and goes to the Alamo and he tours the whole thing. And then at the very end of the tour, she finally takes questions and Pee Wee asks, where's the basement? And she says, <laughs> There's no basement at the Alamo. So basically, if we see anything that says Alamo, we automatically think of that line. The best part about this is that I'm going through these notes and I think they're hilarious. And you guys are going to be like, this isn't funny at all. <laughs> it's okay. My mom watches these. She'll laugh. So we decided to just sit in the parking lot at the museum waiting for it to open because we didn't really have anything else to do. And we were kind of tired of wandering around the city with nothing open. So we sat there with the car running for a long time with the air on full blast and everything. And then mom finally turned the car off. And then two seconds after she turned it off, she's like, uh -huh, I'm already hot. <laughs> so that was pretty funny too. And then finally the museum opened. The museum we went to is called the Lauren Rogers Museum of Art. It's named after Lauren Rogers, who is not a girl, by the way. So Lauren Rogers was the only son and only grandson of two of the founding families of Laurel, Mississippi. But he died when he was 23 due to complications from appendicitis, I believe it was, right after he got married, which is really sad. Anyway, his family decided to start a foundation in his name and they created the museum and it is there today and you can go see everything there for free. So here are some of the paintings and things that you can see in that museum. We stayed in there about an hour just walking around and looking at stuff and we talked to the two people who were working there. The guy that was working there was wearing a bow tie and it was kind of adorable. But like I said, we didn't spend too much time there and then we headed back toward Alabama. But before we got to Meridian, Mississippi on the way back, we stopped at a place called Dunn's Falls Park. There's not really much to it. It's just like an old mill and uh, it's got a waterfall kind of going down and you can walk down and stick your feet in the water which we did. And yeah, like I said, there's not really that much to it, but we stopped there because why not? We were there anyway. And I think that's everything that I can talk about in this video about that trip because the rest of the stuff was Alabama stuff. So that will be in the next Wandering Alabama video that I do. So there you go. There's something to look forward to. And that one will probably be pretty short too. But yeah, that's some of the things that happened while we were in Mississippi. Uh, I guess that is it. I will see you guys next time. Bye.